library and I'm actually outside our library. And I'm gonna read you a story today because our library is open and other people are looking around and well, it'd be really hard for me to read this story with my mask on. So I thought I'd read to you outside. It's a good one. I hope you like it. And it's part of the Taunton Tales, which was written by Astrid Lindgren, who's one of my favorite authors. And it's a two part series. It's the first story is the Taunton, and the second story is the Taunton and the Fox. And this book is illustrated by Harold Weiberg. So let's open it up, see what it's all about. If you don't know about the Taunton, you're in for a treat. This book is published by Floris Books. So I know you guys are really good at this. You, I, I heard a couple of you, yes, you thanked us for reading it virtually. Okay, there we are. Wow. It is the dead of night and the old farm lies fast asleep and everyone inside is sleeping too. The old farm is deep in the middle of the forest, and once upon a time, someone came here, cut down the trees, built a homestead, and farmed the land. No one knows who. The stars are shining in the sky tonight, and the snow lies white all around, and it is bitterly cold. On nights like this, people creep into their houses, wrap up warm and make a fire in the hearth. Here is a lovely old farm where everyone is sleeping. All but... The Tompton is awake. He lives in a corner of the hayloft and comes out at night when all the people are asleep. He is an old, old Tompton who has seen the snow of many hundred winters. And no one knows when he came to the farm. No one has ever seen him, but they know he's there. And sometimes when they wake up, they see his footprints in the snow. No one has ever seen a Taunton. On small, silent feet, the Taunton moves about in the moonlight. He creeps into the cow shed and stable and storehouse and tool shed. He sneaks between the buildings, making tracks in the snow. And the Taunton goes to the cow shed first. The cows are dreaming of summertime and grazing in the fields. The Taunton talks to them in Taunton language, a silent little language that cows can understand. Winters come and winters go, summers come and summers go. Soon you will graze in the fields. And the moonlight is shining in the stable and there stands Sam, the sire horse thinking perhaps about the clover field where he trotted about last summer. The Taunton talks to him in Taunton language, a silent little language that a horse can understand. Winters come and winters go. Summers come and summers go. Soon you will be in your clover field. The sheep and the lambs are all sleeping soundly, but they bleat softly when the Taunton peeps in the door. He talks to them in Taunton language, a silent little language that sheep can understand. All my sheep, all my lambs, the night is cold, but your wool is warm and you have aspen leaves to eat. On, then on, silent, small feet, the Taunton goes to the hen house, and the hens cluck contently when he comes. He talks to them 
and taunt in language, a silent little language that hens can understand. Lay me an egg, my lovely chickens, and I will give you corn to eat. The roof of the dog kennel is white with snow, and inside Buster is curled up. Every night he waits for the Tomton's visit. The Tomton is his friend and he talks to Buster in Tomton language, a silent little language that a dog can understand. Buster, my friend, it is cold tonight. Are you cold in your kennel? I'll fetch more straw and then you can sleep. The house where the people live is silent. They are sleeping through the winter night. They don't know the Tompton is here. Winters come and winters go. I've seen people large and small, but they have never seen me. He tiptoes across the children's beds and stands looking for a long time. If only they would wake up, I could talk to them in Taunton language, a silent little language that children can understand. But children sleep so soundly at night. And away goes the Taunton on small silent feet. And in the morning, the children will see his tracks, a line of tiny footprints in the snow. Then the Taunton goes back to his cozy little corner in the hayloft, where the cat is waiting for him. She wants some milk, and the Taunton talks to the cat in Taunton language, a silent little language that a cat can understand. Of course you may stay with me. Of course I will give you milk. Winter is long and dark and cold, and sometimes the Taunton dreams of summer. Winters come and winters go, summers come and summers go, and soon the swallows will be here. The snow lies white all around the old farm in the forest and the stars are shining in the sky. It is bitterly cold and on nights like this people creep into their houses and wrap up warm and make a fire in the hearth. Here is a lonely old farm where everyone is sleeping all but one. Winters come and winters go, year by year. But as long as people live at the old farm in the forest, every night the Taunton will move about between the buildings on his small, silent feet. That's the Taunton. Let's do the other story. It's called the Taunton and the Fox. The fox lives deep in the middle of the forest, and when evening comes, he leaves his den. Where can a hungry fox find something to eat? Creep silently, Mr. Fox. Creep silently to the farm. How bright it is tonight. The snow is white and the stars are shining. Creep carefully, Mr. Fox. Creep carefully so no one sees you. Careful, 
There is a light in the window and people inside the house. Perhaps you think no one will look out to see a hungry fox coming through the snow. Someone can see you, Mr. Fox, the old Taunton who watches over the farm at night. Inside the house, children are playing. They don't know about the fox or the Taunton outside in the snow. They only want to enjoy Christmas and play as much as they can before bedtime. Oops. I missed a page. The fox sneaks into the cow shed. Is there anything for a hungry fox to eat? Creep silently, Mr. Fox. Creep silently so no one can hear you. Inside the cow shed, it's dark and quiet and the cows are fast asleep. Why would cows care about a fox? But the mice in the cow shed are awake. Hey, Mr. Fox, catch us if you can. We'll just scamper away down our mouse holes. Come on, come on, come on, Mr. Fox, catch us if you can. But what fox cares about mice? There's something nearby that tastes much better. See what it is? Look out, hens. Here he comes. Help, squark the hens. Here comes the fox. Help, oh help. Then suddenly, the hens and the fox hear footsteps outside. Who is sneaking on small silent feet through the snow? And the fox turns around and goes to see. <gasps> Can you see the Tompton? It's only the old Taunton who watches over the farm at night. Were you frightened, Mr. Fox? Haven't you seen the Taunton before, moving between the farm buildings on his rounds? The old Taunton knows that foxes get hungry. You're not allowed to steal our hens, do you understand, Mr. Fox? Hens, says Mr. Fox. Which hens? This is a hard book to turn the pages on. Once you saw when you poked your hungry nose through that little door, says the Taunton. I was only looking, Mr. Fox says. There's nothing wrong with looking. But that old Taunton knows that foxes get hungry. Here, have some of my porridge, my friend. Every night, the children fill the Taunton's bowl with porridge. They have never seen him, but they know he is there. It tastes so good, doesn't it? Eat up, Mr. Fox. You can share my porridge every night if you like, but don't touch our hens. We'll see, says the fox. Thank you for sharing your porridge with me. Full and happy, Mr. Fox goes home to his forest den. How bright it is tonight and how silent it is tonight. A night for foxes and tomtins. And all the people are fast asleep in their beds. 
but the morning star is already rising over the forest. Hope you like that story. It's one of my favorites. I like it a lot too. And I hope you have a really good weekend and whatever events you have planned. And I hope that you'll see us next week. So take care and maybe if you need to put a bowl out for that Tomton, maybe that would help. Or maybe a couple birds. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.